Castle of Dr. Paul Bearer. <laughs> so nice to sit down in the uneasy chair in my unliving room. <laughs> Run a little late today, so I uh, stopped by one of those quickie food joints and picked up, uh, thought I'd try some chicken McMaggots today. <laughs> Seriously, well, let me see how these things taste anyway. <clears throat> mm, very tasty. <laughs> so while I enjoy my chicken McMaggots, maybe you can enjoy our Horrible old movie for today, and believe me, it's really horrible, or my name isn't Dr. Paul Barrow. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. Welcome to this episode of Dick in the Dirt. I'm Dick. I'm out here filming my Halloween special and also doing the October challenge for the Stealth Camping Alliance. Me and uh, Super Awesome Son. Already, hey, how's it going? Already lugged all our gear in here. As you can see, we drove the car into the back of the cemetery and threw all the stuff in the wood so we didn't have to carry it all in with us because we uh, parked our car in a nearby gas station. We had a little bit of a cold snap, so it's uh, cool-ish. It's supposed to be about 50 degrees tonight, or a little under, which would be nice. 
We're gonna get our camp set up here real quick and then uh, we'll be back with you. Let's, Let's get, get dirty. dirty. All right, everybody, we got camp set up. Um, we're all sweaty, covered in mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, we used a bunch of off and we got three thermal cells going over there. You might not be able to see them. Uh, we've got our pumpkin. We'll light that up later tonight. Got my cigar, speaking of. Tonight's cigar is Back Bottom Betty. Deadwood dead tobacco incorporated with the screw estate. The uh, wrapper is infused with aroma. Apparently, I keep seeing people back there. Anyways, so that's tonight's cigar. And then tonight's beers are from the uh, Legion Pumpkin Pack. I think that's what it was. Mm -hmm. Something like that. On a, I think. A 12 pack. There's four different beers. So we got first two beers gonna be a Legion Pumpkinchino Coffee Pumpkin Ale. Now, but keep me awake. And then that one's gonna be my first one. And then yeah, got the Legion Legion Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. Okay, all right, everybody at home, grab your uh, favorite beer, liquor, weed, whatever it is you do, and cheers. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that's really good. That's sweet. That's like, uh, like liquid candy. <laughs> this one has, it tastes like pumpkin with like the hint of like almost like cinnamon in it. Yeah. It's good. I can definitely taste the coffee and pumpkin in here. It's like, uh, like what is that? Uh, ultimate white roll beer. <laughs> pumpkin spice. <laughs> pumpkin latte. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin spice latte. Extra foam. <laughs> but yeah, this one does have a, it's definitely a large amount of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. mm. It has like a pinch of like cinnamon is what it tastes like. Almost like pumpkin pie. Yeah, that's yeah. It's literally like yeah. pumpkin pie. That's what it tastes like. This is literally like pumpkin coffee. It's a slight hint of pumpkin more coffee. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's gonna take you a while. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, that's really good. That's like, mm, I can taste it on the wrapper. It's almost like a, I don't know if you guys know what acid branded cigars are, but that's sort of what it's like. Not as heavily flavored, but. I can smell it myself. I can just smell it. That says it's aromatic. Mm -hmm. It smells sweet. It is. That's really good. But anyways, all right. Get right here. I'm going to smoke this in the. Uh, cook dinner probably freaking dark by that point yeah, it's whatever yeah we'll live yeah i got lights and everything so we're, we're in the back of the cemetery forgot to mention that <laughs> squirrels maybe maybe that bad but uh yeah we're in the back of the cemetery there's a truck frame right behind our tent i don't know if you noticed that when we were setting up this old rusted out truck or car frame or something right behind our tent mm -hmm. here this is a, an, a historic mm -hmm. cemetery. There's a lot of old graves out here, and the uh, the city owns it and maintains it. Yeah, there were uh, some graves like marked born 1830s to 1870s, yeah. and some of them death at like 1934 and stuff. Mm -hmm. And there were some cool ones like uh, what were those ones that had the curvature tops with no gr no markings whatsoever? What were those called? I don't know. It's like a cap because it was the mm -hmm. old red brick cap, and then they coat it with cement. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you call those. There was two of those. Assume husband and wife. Marked. 
un completely unmarked and it was crackled a bit like the the cement had chipped off and you could see the brick under it mm -hmm. yeah it was it's really cool the amount of history here Kids, here comes Peter Pumpkin. For a safe Halloween, do what Peter does. Wear a light-colored costume short enough so you don't trip. If you wear a mask, make sure you can see. Makeup's better. Don't crisscross the street. Call on one side, then the other. Parents, set boundaries, and it's time to be home. Carry a flashlight for extra safety. And let's all have a safe Halloween. Raising spirits from the dead by incantations, right? <laughs> I did that by playing a record backwards. These evil people have just got to be stopped. What have you done to your stereo? I wanted a new one. Trick or Treat, rated R. Starts Friday, October 24th at theaters everywhere. <laughs> oh, are we to that point in the movie? <clears throat> Quite frankly, I didn't care for it, so I've been uh, pursuing a hobby, which, of course, is, I'd like to become a spirit medium, so I've been reading this book, Contacting the Spirit World by Manny Festation. <laughs> Wait a second, I think I've just about got it down here. All right, I think I've figured out how to do this, so let me see if I can try it. If there are any spirits out there, let them appear. If there are any spirits out there, let them appear. We're trying to make contact with the spirit world, as you can see. <laughs> if there are any spirits out there, let them appear. <laughs> Son of a gun. Well, as you can see, we made contact with the spirit world. At least a bottle of old croak, anyway. <laughs> well, now that I've successfully contacted the spirit world, let's see if you can make contact with the rest of our horrible old movie. <laughs> Oh, this would be real good with a cigar, too. Aromatic cigar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
fucking latte, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Um, coffee pumpkin ale. <sighs> yeah, I like this one. It's, it's good. But we got two more pumpkin beers in here. <laughs> They're going to all pumpkin out. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> um, we were thinking about something to talk about. Oh. And our favorite, uh, our favorite Halloweens. And then the movies as well. Yeah, yeah. But my favorite my favorite Halloween was uh well, one of my favorite Halloween's. Halloween's my favorite holiday, so I got a lot of them. But my personal favorite memory from Halloween was back when I was a, a teenage dirtbag. And uh, if you guys saw my little short, you know what I'm talking about, you'll probably even see the photo of uh, me standing in front of a hearse. I used to have a hearse. Used to drive a hearse. Was my daily driver, 1968 Cadillac hearse, and um, we used to sit in the driveway, and it had a 13 speaker stereo system in the front cab, and we would blast, you know, all kinds of creepy noises and Halloween music and stuff, and hand out candy out of the back of the hearse. It was great. Everybody loved it. Loved it. And then we would drive around later at night, blasting all the Halloween music and stuff out of it. It was fun. And mine, mine was uh, back in 2017 when I was a junior in high school. Um, me, my dad, and my mom, we uh, we dressed up as like backwoods redneck murderers. Oh, yeah, like like hillbilly murderers. Yeah, and my outfit was a pig mask. I cut the edges up and put fake blood. Like I peeled it off a pig. Had a skinned face of a person hanging off my belt. I had like a Rambo knife, and I had. Cut off sleeves of a flannel. Well, we'll put the photos up. Yeah, that's right. We'll, yeah, we'll put pictures up. So as we're talking about that, so you guys can see it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun, and his was great. You can't see it in the photo, but like his sledgehammer that he had, he put fake blood on. He took hair from my mom's hairbrush and pasted it on the end and drug it around, and you could hear it crackling right on it. Fake blood, mm -hmm. crusty hair, yeah. And so, and it would drag it mm -hmm. on the concrete sidewalks behind me, and then of course, mom. Super awesome wife, super awesome mom, had on a doll type outfit and her creepy mask, and had a little creepy doll in her knife. And she had pigtails. Yeah, little pigtails <laughs> and blood and dirt all over. It was great. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> People were freaked out by us as they saw us walking up the side where they tend to get on the other side of the street. Mm -hmm. It was great. <laughs> it was a good time. It was fun. So, yeah, you guys comment. Uh, what was uh, your favorite Halloween? Do you have a favorite Halloween memory you have? Put it in the comments. Oh, forgot. by the way, so put in the comments too what you're drinking. Put it hashtag drinking with Dick and tell me what kind of beer or liquor or weed or whatever it is that you're doing during this video. <sighs> put it in the comments. I want to know. I'll, I read all the comments and I and I reply to all of them. I might not get to them right away, but I reply to everybody. Mm -hmm. But um, favorite movie. Yeah, like favorite classic classic like hall yeah tight movie yeah all right you what's yours well mine i've always been a fan of like john carpenter's works but mine even though everybody always says like halloween and stuff my personal favorite was the thing because it was the physical effects were insane for that film and the tension that the movie did it wasn't just the gore aspect but just the amount of suspense that the film bred mm -hmm. made it really good and the characters did sensible actions it's not a movie of oh there's some loud noise upstairs let me go up let's and go check it yeah let's go see what it is with no weapons yeah <laughs> but they did sensible actions throughout the film and when when it starts getting to the end of course they break down but they tried to keep it together it was really good and then yours well i mean i have to go with it, it like you said halloween it's 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 just the classic. It's the one that started all the slasher films. I mean, and he proved that you could shoot a horror movie quick on a low budget. And you did not have to have a ton of gore mm -hmm. to make it scary and suspenseful. There's literally no gore in the, in the 1978 original film. None. You don't mm -hmm. see, well, well, you see a little bit of blood. But, but it you was don't see, like, gushing blood all over and the place. And organs. Yeah, you don't see him actually stabbing into... Like open wounds mm -hmm. and things like that. It's not all gory. It's just more suspenseful and mm -hmm. scary. And that—that's—I love. That's what I like about it. 
And it's showing that low budget. Mm -hmm. I low mean, budget film was great. And they even hired Donald Pleasance for all of a week. Yeah. That was his time yeah, on one set, week. one week. Yeah, they filmed all his stuff in one week. And that goes to show, you know. You can get creative and. Yeah, not to mention, like. Um, like this. Yep. <laughs> I mean. We're, we're shooting on a low, low budget. <laughs> I mean, my favorite part, not to mention, we everybody knows a scene where. Michael Myers takes Bob and pins him against the wall with his knife, and the creepiest part is just the head tilt. Yeah, <laughs> just looking at his work, yeah. he was more curious of things. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was creepy. Yeah, yeah. Those are good. Both are really good films. I love the thing too. Mm -hmm. That's another one of my favorites. Not to mention they got that, a that movie. Mm -hmm. That movie scared the heck out of me when I was a kid. It terrified me for months because I, I didn't and I just, I didn't see the whole movie as, when I was a kid. You know, I saw bits and pieces when my parents were watching because I was little. And I mean, bits and pieces. I remember like this: the guy's head coming off and turning into a spider and running around. Yeah, that terrified me for months. For months. <laughs> yeah, I had to say. I, had nightmares. I think the favorite part of that film for me was the when they were during that scene but before what he talked about was um when they were doing the defibrillator get, get, and they and they so they subverted you and they did two chest paddles first yeah. and shocked him and still nothing all of a sudden clear and the chest just up. and then pops his arms off like yeah. that like i remember first time kind of watching and just seeing like oh maybe he's just dead already and then no all of a sudden like it gave me that like pit in my stomach feeling when you just see you go whoosh. it was like what's happening it was freaky. And he went to put the paddles on again and oops. just nailed them. It was freakish, yeah. and not to mention like the the body horror that they did was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it was like stuff out of your worst nightmares yeah. as a kid. Like I said, it, it terrified. Me. Mm -hmm. That and the movie Alien. Those were the two that I absolutely terrified me when I was a child. Just I shouldn't have been able to see those when I was that young. <laughs> Created a horrific nightmare for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Used to be afraid to look out the window, out my bedroom window, because I thought I'd see a chopped off head sitting on the windowsill. <laughs> movie that scared me as a kid because I was young. It was like my first real horror movie was The Conjuring. Yeah, I had nightmares for a good few days after that, and I had a bunk bed, so it made me feel secure. If you know the scene where the demon goes over the woman and possesses her, it was. For me, I was scared that I was going to wake up one day and just see that hovering over me. And I was like, so glad I had a bunk bed so I couldn't, you know, it couldn't happen to me. <laughs> I had nightmares about that for days. I did not like sleeping. There's a lot of good old horror films. Like, as he said, Alien, that was a purely um, a suspense. Sci horror. Yeah, sci-fi yeah. horror. And it was purely suspense. Like, yeah. you rarely saw the alien full body. Yeah. I don't think you ever saw it full body. Uh, not in the first one. Yeah, no, like, not the, the original, you know. You see, like, pieces of And its head and stuff and hands, but never, like, a full body. It was meant to really keep you in the dark on what it, what it, would, what it looked like. Anyways, mm -hmm. so, we're going to smoke and uh, drink this and it's getting dark. I don't know if you can even still see us, but um, we'll have to set up some lights and stuff so we can film dinner. Yeah. So we'll be back for dinner after I smoke this giant thing. <laughs> <laughs> we have two, like I said, we got two more beers left still, so we'll be back. Oh, I do enjoy an evening with a little light entertainment. But when your video heads get dirty, you lose your picture. Not a pretty sight. Happily, this new Polaroid video cassette will help you. It actually cleans your heads as it plays, so dirty heads needn't haunt you. New Polaroid video cassettes. Get the picture? I've been seeing things. Hallucinations about Mary Lou Maloney. That girl who died at our school. Mary Lou Maloney is back for the prom. And she's going to make sure it's a night you'll never want to remember. Hello, Mary Lou. Prom night two. Read it on. Starts Friday at a theater near you. Check newspaper for future times. <laughs> or are we to that point in the movie? Quite frankly, I didn't care for it. I've been reading the latest issue of TV Died magazine. <laughs> We're into the second season. Let's see. 
Well, Roseanne's still on. She used to be Roseanne Scar, but now she goes by Roseanne. <laughs> Scary Mason. Boy, those reruns will go on forever, I think. <laughs> Scar Trek. They keep coming out on a new version of that one. <laughs> Siri and the Wheel of Misfortune with Vanna Fright. Oh, that'll go on forever, I think. <laughs> and of course, my soaps are still on. One Slay at a Tomb <laughs> and Happy Slays. Oh, you can catch that every once in a while. <laughs> well, while I check out what's on uh, TV, <clears throat> of course, we're still here. So let's go back and watch some more of our horrible movie. <laughs> Siri. <laughs> guys um it's dark now obviously and uh i'm done done smoking a cigar and we drank our first beers and called super awesome wife on the phone talked to her for a little bit so now it's time for beer number two and we got Right, this one's mine. It's a great pumpkin, Imperial Pumpkin Ale by a Legion from the pack. Hopefully you can see that. All right, that's mine. It's, I already said that where it was. <laughs> and then this one is Super Awesome Suns. This one is Night Owl Pumpkin Ale. Frost off there, hopefully you can see that. More pumpkin beer from the pumpkin pack. All right. I hold yours for a second. Yeah. Set down Scully. Set down Scully. <laughs> I'd give him a beer if I could, but he'd just go straight through him. All right. And here you go, Scully. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's cold. I know. Yeah. The cold snap is definitely set in. You see, we got our jackets on. It's pretty chilly out now. I mean, to us, we're Floridians. Yeah. It's like 50 degrees. Anything below like 60, we're cold. <laughs> Let's sip that back up. <laughs> Yeah, we got thin, thin blood. All right, if you guys are still drinking, get out your beers, your liquor, weed, whatever you're doing. Soda, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be uh, mind altering. <laughs> <laughs> Just be soda or tea, water, whatever you're drinking. Get ready. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching us. Oh, mm. wow. I'm really digging these. This one's good too. I can see what it's talking about on it. Yeah. It's real sweet, mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering. It's nice. You can taste the pumpkin, but it's not like too much. Yeah, this has a bunch of different stuff. It has uh, roasted and raw pumpkin seeds, uh, spice and conditioning with nutmeg, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. Mm -hmm. It's got a good blend. I can't read mine. I'm blind and it's dark. <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this one's good. Remember, drinking with Dick. Hashtag drinking with Dick. Put it in the comments what you guys are drinking or smoking, whatever. Hashtag smoking with Dick if you want. <laughs> mm. um, we were talking about the horror movies earlier. Put that in the comments, too. Um, tell us what your favorite horror film is, you know, and, and why you like it so much. We love that kind of stuff. We love horror films. We love talking about that kind of stuff. We're horror junkies. <laughs> <laughs> like our favorite, one of our favorite film genres besides sci-fi and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, and our shirts. Yeah, I don't know if you can see mine. I'll stand up. Show yes. mine. Yeah, yours is more visible. <sighs> don't get too close. Yeah, Damn. you should be able to see it. But. 
made by Super Awesome Wife for this uh, camp. It's a Rabbit and Red Lounge. You guys tell us what uh, what you think it is, what you think it's from. It's probably pretty obvious. Yeah. But um, tell us the significance of it if you know. Then we'll know you're uh, like real horror fans. <laughs> But we're gonna enjoy our beers. You guys enjoy yours, your whatever, <laughs> and uh, we still have to do dinner yet. Yeah, we got. Uh, well, you'll see it. You'll see it when we go to do dinner. We got a special uh, Halloween dinner planned, so we'll be back to to cook, even though it's late. <laughs> yeah. So dark out. You can see your shadows cast. Now. Yeah, you see our Ogadu shadow puppets. <laughs> 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 but uh so yeah we'll be back after we finish these beers and uh, decide yeah. to cook and we're gonna have a hot meal so warm us up after drinking these cold beers and just super cold 50 degrees <laughs> cold for us all right we'll be back guys all right folks chill out oh yeah you can see our breath yeah I'm going to keep this headlamp on. I know it's kind of annoying. I'll try to keep it pointed away from the camera. But we're getting ready to do dinner. It's kind of hard to see. But we got some Halloween pasta. Orange and black and white. Little pumpkins and bats and haunted houses and things like that. Our pasta. And we got a pre-cooked this at home. Parboiled or uh, whatever you want to call it. And then pre-cooked some chicken at home. And then we got some uh, great value Alfredo sauce. Yeah. So we're going to have chicken Alfredo. Get it? Chicken Alfredo. All of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're just going to slow simmer it in here and heat it back up. So we're gonna eat for dinner and then we got some we got some super cool plates here for Halloween Day of the Dead cost us a whole 98 cents of course our spoons and whatnot all right so I'm gonna do that uh, we'll come back after the products done and show you I'm sure you don't want to watch us boil up noodles or reheat noodles so we'll be back all right, it's all done reheating. Turn that off. Let's serve it up. Oh yeah, look at that nice steamy goodness. Chicken Alfredo. Stop. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks good. All right, everybody, let's show you the. Here, let's double up them plates, yeah. Yeah, I was say. that's why they're only 98 cents. <laughs> they are not good. Because they're literally paper thin. All right, that looks not too bad. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Chicken Afredo. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping it on me. Well, it's not bad. Not too bad. Is it warm enough? Mm hmm. A big chunk of chicken. Mmm. Do as your mouth mm. <laughs> yeah, That's good. All right. We'll be back to the. You know, maybe we'll make hot tackle and try to clean this out. All right. See you guys in a little bit. All right. So, hot chocolate's a no go. Sadly. You hear somebody talking? I heard somebody talking. Oh. Mm. All right. Anyways, that was the hot chocolate. It was cinnamon toast crunch hot chocolate. I was looking forward to that. Oh, this is a candy we got in our Happy Meal buck here. Hoppy meal blue bucket or whatever they call it. 
So we got these. So what are these? These candy skulls and bones. Auto mix candy corn, candy pumpkins. Oh, yeah, can't forget that. Caramels. Always gotta have some caramels. And then this, which is pretty cool. It's the last one they had left. Oops, I got it. It was like a specialty chocolate, Day of the Dead chocolate. Is that Hershey's? No. By 7 Eleven. Uh, Hatch? Hatch Chili? Yeah. Dark chocolate. It's got chili in it. Chili powder. So, I'm gonna let him eat that. Because I don't like spicy stuff. He's a Probably wimp. Even see me. I'll let him have that. He's a wimp. But we're gonna eat this stuff yeah. before we go to bed. Well, not all of it, obviously. <laughs> I mean, if you wanna get tight too, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And then, so tonight so as you know Halloween time we don't want the boogeyman to get us can you really still believe in the boogeyman yeah yeah Come on. obviously it's real dude sure <laughs> that's real I'm telling you you say so so we got a boogeyman offering so he doesn't kill us in our sleep I'm gonna give him a mega death beer. Mega death, because he's the boogeyman. It's a tout le monde. Good beer, I've had it. Good, he'll like it, hopefully. And then, got him a little gift card. A knife outlet. Yeah, you because know, he likes knives. I figure, you know, you can always use a new knife. I've got a gift card for knife outlet. Hopefully that's good enough. <laughs> that he leaves us alone tonight. Sure, bud. Really hope so. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're gonna get some candy. And then uh, we're gonna blow up our air mattress and go to bed here. It's mm. our beat. We're tired. So, uh, I'll see you when we're laying in bed. Oh, you're not, oh, he's gonna eat that candy now. <laughs> Curious. I'll take even, a bite of it and see. It even has like a Willy Wonka wrap on it. Yeah. Let's see if it's actually spicy. It's spicy? Oh, I like it. Nice bunch. Hmm. <laughs> Had a feel in the back of my throat, it's like a tingle. Not real spicy. It's got a tang to it though. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, anyways. So, uh, yeah, we're tired. It's getting late. I'm gonna set up the boogeyman stuff so he don't get us. And then, uh, not bad. Okay, so we got our boogeyman offering set up here. And our jack lantern that keeps evil spirits away. But if that doesn't work, we got our. His, his beer and his gift card for Knife World. So hopefully that satisfies me, leaves us alone. So, alright, we're going to go to bed here. See you in a minute. Alright, so it's late past midnight. Did somebody come through the cemetery? Blaring music on like a Bluetooth speaker. I think they're on foot, we didn't see any headlights real close the campsite so we turned all the lights off and kind of waited it out until they left and then uh, finally got our stuff situated and got ready for bed but so we're going to well super awesome son's already passed out he's sleeping but i'm going to sleep now we got to get up early and get out of here so I'll see you guys in the morning
morning, everyone. It's around 7 20, 7 30, something like that. Mm. Got chilly, didn't sleep too well. Tossed and turned a lot, but uh, made it through the night. So uh, I'm gonna get up here and uh, gotta get our stuff packed up and get ready to get out of here. Gotta walk back to the gas station, and go get our car, all that stuff. But gonna get packed up and get out of here. All right, so we got up this morning and uh, climbed out of the tent and noticed that uh, Boogeyman showed up last night, took his uh, gift card and his beer, stabbed his knife into our pumpkin. I don't know what that means, really, but he left it there. I guess it means he's going to get a new knife from Knife Outlet with our gift card. So he left his old one for us. <laughs> See, I told you, Boogeyman's real. Whatever you say, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to get packed up. Super awesome, son. Super tired. We didn't sleep real well last night, either one of us. It was chilly and uncomfortable. But we're going to get the rest of this packed up. We packed up our sleeping pads and all that stuff already. And I'm going to pack everything else up and get out of here. So, uh, just want to say thanks for... Uh, watching everyone if you like this video like comment subscribe share it um if you're new here thanks for stopping by and checking out my channel uh thanks for uh thanks for watching yep thanks for getting dirty with us Staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night in humanly patient. As a matter of fact, it was.